What's going on, guys? My name is Eve Cade. Welcome to the channel. And today, I want to talk about Atari and why I have invested in Atari stock and how, uh, and a special little deal I've got for the first five people who click the link in the description uh, in the UK and, you know, link to this, this site I use to trade the stocks. So, for those of you who don't know, Atari, for instance, is a, is Atari SA, which is the current form, uh, formation of Atari because there's many over the years, uh, is a publicly traded company on. I think it's the French stock exchange, and it's very cheap. It's a very cheap stock, and I've been bu slowly buying up shares in Atari uh, for a little while now. And there was a time I had owned like four hundred shares, and then I had to sell them because uh, I was in a bad financial state, so I needed to sell all the stock I had uh, to get by. But I'm obviously I've been able to recoup my losses, and obviously I'm back to investing again. And I want to go through why I've invested in Atari stock now. For you know, if you look at the financials for the Physical year of 2022, 2023, the last physical report you can get from Atari. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. You know, Atari lost, what, 5.3 million euro? You know, the, but, you know, the hard revenue was down uh, 92%. The, uh, what was the other thing? The NFT crypto revenue increased by about 300 grand, which for those of you know is 300,000 uh, euro. And... What was it? And the licensing revenue was down ten percent. Now, to me, that is kind of awkward. That was very bad. But one upside was games. Games were selling like I think it was like something like two point eight million euro in sales in that physical in that last half of the year, which is pretty good. Especially when Atari's recharge games are like eight pound on uh, Steam. So that's good. It's good showing that hey, you know, people are actually buying these games. And that was a ten percent increase uh, from obviously the physical year before, and obviously they also were created to then get a deal with Rollercoaster Tycoon uh, creator Chris Sawyer, and yeah. So why am I buying Atari stock? Why do I think Atari's got this potential? Why? Why? So guys, Atari, for instance, has been a has been a gaming name for about fifty years, right? People know Atari. People either love it or they hate it, you know. And Atari's got some pretty known, pretty big games. Obviously, stuff like Pong. Everyone knows Pong. Everyone knows Asteroids. And people know stuff like Missile Command. And Atari, more recently, has been losing money and trying to grow and trying to, you know, reshape what they were. And obviously, they released, they released a home console. They've they got into crypto. They've done all this sort of stuff. But let me explain to you why the main reason I got into Atari stock. Because I see a lot of value in Atari. And it's a very cheap company to buy into. Uh, I see Atari as potentially being able to, you know, write the ship, so to speak, you know, to be a big game publisher again. Would it be as big as something like EA or Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo? Probably not. But could Atari come back swinging, you know, as an indie game publisher, you know, start making money again and become a really popular brand once again? I think that's possible. But there are a few things they would need to do, in my opinion, to actually get to that point. The first thing I would do is get rid of all the crypto stuff. Because crypto isn't very profitable in a lot of people's eyes. Unless you're promoting a scam. Now, now I think people will argue, well, you know, well, one point ETH is like, what? A couple, couple thousand dollars, you know. You know, a thousand ETH is of $1.3 million. Yeah, but years, but about a year ago, it was about double that. Right? Crypto crashed in 2020, 20, I think it was 2021, 2022. So Atari being big in crypto could be have a negative effect on them in the long run and could take away from their focus in other areas. The second thing I would do, I'd expand the global availability of the Atari VCS. Now, I know people say, well, the server costs will go up, you know, shipping costs and whatnot. That is fine. I understand that. That's their fair arguments. But it would then also lead to more sales of the console. And preferably Atari would try and lower the price a little bit from 400 to 350 or something, try and make it like more enticing to gamers as well. Because... You know, they have like 100 games that you can buy on the VCS store. It's not many, but they are slowly seeming to be adding more games and more games in the Recharge series and more newer games like Akara Ara, which is coming soon to all systems. So that's good. And the first thing I would do is obviously I would also, personally, I would take Atari and I would try and like focus on making it more of a legacy thing. Obviously, right, for those who don't know, licensing revenue is a big part of Atari. So, if I was Atari, I'd shift it from being the four-prong approach of, you know, games, hardware, licensing, and blockchain to just focusing on games, hardware, and licensing. They're like brands and their 
their IPs and that for merch. But I would also then push more on game side because games obviously what is going to make people want to. Well, that's probably what's going to bring in the most revenue for Atari. You know, the sales and whatnot. So I'd focus mostly on games. So anyway, guys, I want to hear your opinion on this in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think? Do you think oh, this was a good investment? Do you think it's a bad investment? I mean, if you put one British pound into Atari at the minute, you can get six and a half shares in the company, which for those who don't know, there's 2.4 million shares of an Atari to own, but you don't know if they own a little piece of Atari, which is really cool. And if you're in the UK and you're a viewer of mine, I want to offer you on a deal, because if you sign up for Trading 212, using my link in the description, you can get £100 off your first deposit, so you put £1 in, that's all you need to put in, £1, uh, you get £100 worth of shares for free, it's only available to the first five people, so if you want to sign up for using my link, you can. Now, I will have to preface and say I do also get a kickback from that. I also do get £100 in shares as well, which I will then I will personally use to invest in Atari as well. And we together, we will help grow Atari as a company. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. You know, like, subscribe. If, you, if, if, you're, if you're obviously a UK viewer and you're interested in getting into stocks and you want to, you know, get a little piece of Atari and a little piece of gaming history, obviously, my link is in the description. Go ahead and click it. Uh, first five people get £100. Uh, of investment funds free. Anyway, guys, I've been Eve Cade and I'm signing out. Peace.